Hey there, coffee lovers. Are you ready to dive into the world of pre-ground versus whole bean coffee? We've got some great tips to level up your morning brew. First, let's talk about pre-ground coffee. It's a total lifesaver for those of us who are always on the go and don't have time to grind our own beans. But here's the catch. Pre-ground coffee doesn't have the longest shelf life. Once those beans are ground, they're exposed to light and air, which can quickly affect the flavor of your coffee and it can start tasting stale. It's because once they're ground, they have a larger surface area, which accelerates oxidation. More oxidation leads to stale, flavorless coffee. But if you're someone who values convenience over flavor, pre-ground coffee might be the way to go. I'll give you a few of my top tips on keeping your pre-ground coffee fresher for longer later on in the video. If you're a flavor fanatic like me, then whole bean coffee is definitely the way to go. It delivers a higher quality cup because it maintains its flavor and aroma for longer. Whole beans have a little protective outer layer, which helps to preserve their freshness for longer periods of time. It seals in the flavor, so when you grind it, it's super fresh as there hasn't been the time for that oxidation process to fully take effect. Also, when you grind the beans yourself, you can control the grind size and ensure that your coffee is as fresh as can be. Let's not forget, whole bean coffee is more versatile. You can use it for different brewing methods like drip, French press, pour over. For example, you'd want a finer grind for an espresso and a coarser grind for your French press or cafetiere if you're feeling a little more continental. You're learning French? But the real question is, which one is best? We're gonna do a taste test to let you know. So today we're going to be using one of our Kenyan coffees and this is one of my personal favorites. It's a medium to light roast with a gorgeous floral aroma and juicy flavor. It's my go-to for an afternoon cup. So I've got some freshly ground beans here and some pre-ground to see how the flavor compares. We're gonna be using the V60 pour over coffee brew kit. If you want to know how to make the perfect brew with this piece of kit, let us know in the comments below. We currently have 20% off your first order. So if you want to try some Volcanica coffee, just like, subscribe and use the promo code in the description. So we've got the freshly ground and the pre-ground cups ready to taste. So I think we start with the pre-ground. Mm, such a good cup of coffee. It's everything I love about the Kenyan thing is that it's so fresh and juicy. There's a lot of like cranberry notes in there. It's a really lovely, like refreshing afternoon cup for when you don't want that like hard hitting, earthy, chocolatey stuff. It's really good, but let's see how it compares to the freshly ground. Yeah, just doesn't really compare. This one, those like fruity notes are so much more elevated. It's like way more raspberry coming through. You can really taste that those flavors are like just been released instead of sitting there for a week or so. So yeah, as expected, freshly ground wins. It really depends on your personal preferences and your needs though. So if you're someone who values convenience and doesn't mind sacrificing a bit of flavor, pre-ground coffee is a good choice. But if you're someone who values flavor and wants the best possible cup of coffee, or if you're serving it to your mother-in-law, then whole bean wins every time. When it comes to different uses, pre-ground coffee is best used with drip coffee makers and single serve machines, while whole bean is best for manual brewing methods such as French press and pour over. Let's not forget, proper storage is crucial for both types of coffee. Both types of coffee should be stored in an airtight container in a cool place away from light and moisture to preserve its flavor and aroma. Some people say to keep coffee in the fridge or the freezer, but that's a myth. Firstly, keeping your coffee in the fridge or freezer means big temperature fluctuations, which causes the oil and flavors to break down. This means a loss in aroma and flavor. Secondly, the beans can absorb the flavor of other food in your fridge, and I usually don't want a coffee tasting like cheese. Lastly, when coffee beans are removed from the fridge or freezer, condensation can form on the beans as they warm up to room temperature. This can cause the beans to become damp and lead to further degradation of the coffee's flavor. So it's best to keep it sealed in a dark, dry cupboard. So there you have it, folks. Great debate, pre-ground versus whole bean coffee. It's up to you to decide which one's best for you. But remember, regardless of which type of coffee you choose, proper storage and brewing methods will help ensure you get the perfect cup every time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with your content requests. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.